Hey, what's up? It's Christy with iHeart80s at 1037, and this is my fave five. Okay, today's episode is all about apps. I don't know about you, but I'm a droid. Shout out to my fellow droids, throw it up one time. Five apps that I feel like you have to have on your phone right now. And of course, if I missed any, please feel free to leave them in the comments. But number one, if you don't have, iHeartRadio on your phone, you are missing out. It is one of the greatest apps for music. You can create your own playlist and you can listen to uh, me every day from 10 to three on iHeart. 80s at 103.7. Okay, thank you very much, be quiet. Okay, next up, number two must have of my favorite five apps, Waze. Thank you, Waze creators, whoever you are, wherever you are, if you're in the Bay, way to represent. I love this app. When you first download it, it's a little confusing because you have all of these icons and you're like, what is this? But once I got the hang of it, it is awesome. And the best part about Waze, it tells you where the police officers are and you can collect points when you record stuff happening on the roads, like a pothole or a disabled car on the shoulder. You know, I do traffic every morning, so Waze is awesome. And one of the best parts about Waze, they have a lot of cool random voices, oftentimes celebrities, giving you the navigation instructions. Who doesn't want Cookie Monster to lead them home? <laughs> 0.1 miles, turn right. There it is. <laughs> okay, number three of my favorite must-have apps, whether you're an iPhone or an Android, this app is amazing. Have you ever been listening to the radio or maybe you're at a bar or a club and you're like, oh, I love that song. What is that song? What is that song? Well, Shazam! Maybe you've seen the television show with Jamie Foxx, but all you have to do is download Shazam, hear a song, and bam, there goes the name. Hollow Notes, you make my dreams come true. Amazing song. On to number four of my favorite apps. Okay, maybe you've heard me talk about Rakuten.com on iHeart80s at 1037, but if you don't have the app on your phone, you're missing out because who doesn't love to save money? I don't know about you, but I do a lot of online shopping, whether it's Macy's or Best Buy or eBay or even Amazon.com. Once you download the Rakuten app, basically you can get cash back just for buying stuff that you would normally buy. Go, check it out, Groupon, up to 6%. Macy's, 10% cash back. And you know Macy's already has amazing sales. So if you're an online shopper, check out Rakuten. That app is a must have. And finally, last but not least, number five of my favorite five apps, Google Translate. I love to travel and I love language, but I don't necessarily speak all of them. Recently, I went to Japan with my best friend and Google Translate will save your life if you're in a foreign country. Japan, English to Japanese. Hi, how are you doing? Google Translate actually translates it for you so you can hand the phone to someone and they can read it. You can try and attempt to pronounce it or they even have audio. So that wraps up my fave five apps. Download them, check them out, let me know what you think. Also, if you have a favorite app, please share it in the comments section. Gotta shout out Little Ricky. He said his favorite must have app is MLB at bat. I'm not a big baseball person, so I don't wanna mess it up, but MLB at bat. He says he can listen to all his Yankees games. Yeah, he's a Yankees fan. Sorry guys. And uh, Martha Quinn says, find my friends is her must have app because she can always track her kids and know exactly where they are. So like I said, share your favorite app with me so that way I can download it and check it out. You can check out some of mine. Thanks for watching my fave five and I'll see you next time.